The demand to our food becomes higher and higher. It should last long, look fresh, smell good and above all taste wonderful. However, without application of additives, this will not work out despite of all developments. There are 11 groups of food additions and more than 300 single registered materials. All these materials have their own numbers and a big E in their names. E for the European Union and E for Eatable. Nearly one third of the modern population suffers from food intolerance or allergies. The result are flatulence, sickness, diarrhea or even rashes. So, are also the food additives to blame? And do we know at all what additives are? These are additives who have to be explained on menus. It reaches from colors to taste amplifiers. Additives should enhance taste and lifespan of food. More than e-numbers, I hate aromatic additives. I just don't like them. There are certain additives that cause allergies, that causes trouble. Additives can be taken from natural materials or be produced artificially, as preservatives, colors, taste amplifiers or as acidifiers, these additives are used widely. Only fresh fruit and vegetables are practically free from additives. Imported and slightly perishable fruits are covered externally and quite invisibly with preservation additives. This is why fruits should be washed always thoroughly or even be peeled. The food offer has strongly changed during the last years. In many households, cooking has become the exception. Ready dishes from the supermarket and fast food has replaced own preparation of fruit, vegetables and meat. Stomach and bowel cannot cope easily with many of these additives within food and have problems to catabolize them. How is it really with the additives? I would say that we have in the last 15 years in ganz Europa a massive change in our toxicological exposure by the daily ernährung. In the last 15 years we have a massive change in contamination of daily nutrition. We have a big problem, especially imports from foreign countries which we cannot evaluate properly. Most additives within Europe can be evaluated and most people can tolerate them. Erfasst und sind für die meisten Menschen dann auch eben in Dosierungen im Nahrungsmittel, die sie vertragen werden. Die zurzeit nach dem EU-Gesetz erforderlichen Verpackungen. Package signing according to EU laws will be sufficient for most of the population. Results from mass studies have proven that if an additive is not dangerous for a certain group of probants, it will not cause problems for the population. Wenn etwas nicht gefährlich ist, hochgerechnet auf Gesamtlebenszeit in der Anwendung von einem Nahrungszusatzstoff, dass dann eben die meisten Leute damit klarkommen. Wir müssen aber individuell bei Beschwerden, wenn ein Patient zu uns kommt. We will have to take care of individual problems for patients who come to us and develop for them a certain plan for their nutrition. Leute in ihrem Problem untersuchen, uns dort eben dann auch reinarbeiten und dann mit den Leuten eben ein individuelles Problemprofil entwickeln. A small mug strawberry yogurt contains a fruit portion of approximately 9 grams. This corresponds to half a strawberry. The taste is caused by additives, particularly taste amplifier and sugar. Who wants to enjoy a real strawberry yogurt should take some time and prepare it on his own. It does not take that long, is fun and, most important, one knows what is in it.